it happened to be like weirdly busy for me. I had to get a lot of stuff done. Mm -hmm. And now Wednesday is kind of weirdly busy, but I should be back for streaming. Okay. Although I may be in certain amounts of pain. Okay, the stream should be up. Yeah. Uh, let me get this. Let me get the Steam one up. Uh, Discord on it. There we go. Uh, put this in off topic. Put this in. Oh my god, Discord, play nice, please. Last but not least, dump this shit in here, and we should be good to go. Just minimize Discord real quick. Hi, White. I should probably open up the Twitch chat, maybe. Yeah. Because otherwise, I definitely will not see it. Let me know when you're all set. Wait, there's, it's gonna take people time to get in anyway, so. Yeah. All right, that should be good. Okay. Oi. So today I learned um, why loading screens aren't allowed to have mini games in them anymore. Oh? Uh, it's because Band Bandai Namco has a, a patent on loading screen mini games. Uh, wh what? Why? <laughs> Um, so that they can own the rights and charge people money when they do it without them knowing. Oh, I can hate that shit. Yep, and <laughs> surprise, no, but they haven't done anything with it ever since. Seventeen years of just no loading screen uh, mini games at all. It kind of sounds like the guys who like patented the idea of an app mm -hmm. before like apps really kind of took off and yeah. now they like shoot people down for money just yeah. like Commander, indie app developers at your private terminal. this kind of proves that fucking the free market does nothing for anybody <laughs> no it doesn't and now um i don't know who owns um i was about to say assassin's creed but no they're games that play like assassin's creed uh, the Lord of the Rings games with the Nemesis system. Whoever owns that game, um, I think it's Shadows of War or something like that. Um, now they're trying to patent the fucking Nemesis system in that game. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need. He's still in calibration? He'll always be doing calibrations. I don't remember who we talked to or didn't talk to. Because we did get moored in, but I don't Miranda. know if that's enough time. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Okay. Maybe so, work. I don't think that anyone's going to have any conversations until we do something else. Yeah, I think he got everybody covered before we left off last time. Yeah, I just wasn't sure. Um... Let me just head up here. Unread messages. Take care of Garrus. What? Um, just someone who was like, yeah, my husband was part of Garrus's team before they died. Um. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. And the other message is just being like, we can heal facial scars if we do research. But, uh, looks like, I guess people still need time to get in. So, I guess while we're waiting for people to join, assuming they do, uh, I'm gonna fucking harvest some planets. So wait, for the facial scars thing, is that like an actual quest where it's like you can get his face fixed? No, we can just do research and eventually, like, we can, like, if you don't like that scars get mean and, like, fable as you get meaner, um, you can just do the research and just remove that from the game entirely. Oh. Oh, I meant, like, you. Sorry? Oh, I thought Dr. Chocolates was talking about Garrus's facial scars. No, but, your uh, facial scars. I don't know. I kind of like them. Like, they look neat. Although, I don't know if you're Paragon, they don't do anything special, do they? They actually heal a lot more. Oh. Uh, yeah. Any more materials, please? No. It's really hard to find, like, materials. At least it tells you when a planet is, like, poor of materials, but sometimes, yeah, you can find little spots like this one. It's handy to get them. I need to, like, look up how to make sure nobody dies on the suicide mission. Because I don't want anybody to die. I don't think I've done a run where nobody dies. I was gonna say, is it like everybody on your team goes on it? Oh yeah, my. so like, I've done runs where like none of the, the, the selectable squad mates die. Like, that's easy enough. I know how to do that. Um, it's just that some other characters oh. can also die. And it's all like very like time sensitive and stuff. And by time sensitive, I mean like how much you dilly dally before the final mission. Well, I did give you that video oh, that turned Garrus into <laughs> a fucking like personal machine gun. Oh my god, yeah, but that's for Mass Effect 3. Oh, is that Mass Effect 3 only? That's Mass Effect 3. Yeah, I recognize the upgrade screen there. Didn't do it. Oh man, we went on a real binder. Oh lord. Damn, those bolts rich. Ooh. Yeah, see if I can't do the thing after this planet see if we can't go to the soul system uh, maybe it's just that I've been playing the girls frontline division uh, mm -hmm. like maps for way too fucking long to harvest grenades but honestly I don't mind this kind of farming it's not like the most engaging but like this is at least like largely painless this isn't actually that bad launched um especially on pc where it's so much faster because on xbox what i used to have to do was just like mash oh, yeah, i would have to mash cool. it like this and just like because like it was the only way to do it fast but on mouse because my sensitivity is high enough like i can just fucking fly around the planet that's true oh, actually launched. the introduction of a mouse to this was probably like Improved it a ton. Yeah. Launched. Oh, whoa, look at that. Fuck yeah. A lot of fucking platinum. Platinum's was good. Palladium. I need Ooh. platinum for my. Uh, oh, it's depleted. We just drained that planet for all of its resources. <laughs> Is anybody worried about that? Nope. Okay, uh, let me see. Can I use the mass relay? I should be able to. Now that I have, um, 
Garrus, and Morden. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a few people we can get. There's Thief on the Citadel. That's DLC. We'll do that later. Um, Zaid's mission is over here. Why as well. on earth would we help Zaid? <laughs> He's helpful. Uh, there's the Krogan. The Krogan mission is a pain in the ass. I want to do that when I have some levels. Uh, Overlord's DLC, and I don't want to do it till later because it's really hard. I'm going to see do it later. Um, so I'm going to go... The Convex. Go... Yeah, the Convex. So yeah, we can go to... <laughs> we go to Uranus. Enter its orbit. Oh dear. We start the scanner. Uranus is depleted, by the way. There's nothing here. <laughs> the computer. What? Probing Uranus. The computer does not want to participate in this. No, she doesn't appreciate my silliness. Can we probe Earth for materials? That seems. I don't know if they would. <laughs> that would be kosher. No, they don't let you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would take out a city with one of those things. Oh, Mercury has some good materials on it. Probe away. You mean Venus? Oh, Venus, yeah. I'm sorry. They're very similar. <laughs> they are. Although, I think Venus actually... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember Magic School Bus from forever ago. Unlike what Ray Bradbury would say, which is that Probably Venus away. has a bunch of clouds and therefore is rainy, I'm pretty sure it does have a bunch of clouds and it is raining, but I'm pretty sure it's also Watch raining it molten glass on Venus, like, all yeah. the time. Yeah, it's glass and acid, basically. Oh, my favorite. Probe away. Two great things that go better together. Very thick atmosphere, geologically active, Mercury is a dead rock. Mercury is also really close to the sun. <laughs> uh, Venus. White was talking about Venus. Oh yeah, I know. The Mercury being a dead rock is as a result of it being so close Probe to the away. sun. Which is a little sad for it, but it's also just like... I don't know, it's so tiny and so devoid of anything. You say it's that, but we're about to go probe it. That's so close to the sun, though. We're gonna go close to the sun. Alright. I guess sun is confirmed for flat. Can you probe the moon? Uh, I don't know, actually. Well, there's like a moon base on there. Would they allow that? I guess there aren't any bases on Mercury, because, like, who the fuck would want to be that close? There's speculation that Venus could be livable in, upper, in its upper shaft. So here's the idea of having floating cities in Venus is the common. That's kind of cool. Oh, I, I wouldn't move like, there, okay. but, you know. I'd rather be a space yeah, I get torn between, like, yeah, living in, like, a grand blue fantasy world would be, like, sick as hell. And also just, like, I have an innate fear of falling. Uh, I don't think it would be a grand well. I think it'd be more like the Jetsons, except the sky is yellow and thick with fog all the time. Probe away. Also, it'd be fucking hot. I was gonna say, human Probe beings away. are like... I feel like we're so far away from doing anything in space. Yeah, you wouldn't even be able to see the, the ground on fucking Venus. Probe I would launched. still feel really ominous, though. Uh, anyway, 
Pluto, do you have anything useful? Rest in peace, Pluto. No longer a planet. Which is a shame because Pluto has like one of the cooler orbits of all the planets. Oh, I didn't mean to launch that. It's like really oval. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's like uh basically the shit that we use to do biotics. You just find new type energy on the ground, do you? I guess. Probe away. So far, there doesn't seem to be a lot of planets that have element zero. No, there's somewhere else. I think they're mainly gas giants. Anyway, let's go. Let's go get. The convict. Hi, Hive. Hello. Hello, Hive. <clears throat> a dwarf planet, which is in between planets and asteroids. Pretty soon, a big one. Yeah. I was gonna say Pluto basically has like what, like a. a I think it was classified as the moon. I'm not sure if it still is, where they're basically orbiting each other. Probe away. Oh, it's cool. It's like Saturn, but if Saturn was also Jupiter. Oh yeah, I you just missed. You actually just missed it. We wouldn't have did that. As it turns out, Uranus does not have a whole lot of resources anyway. It's depleted. It has been depleted. There's an upgrade I can get later for to hold like 60 probes instead of 30. Probe away. <laughs> Launching probe. Give me your materials. Ah! Probe away. I wonder if someone oh, made a mod nice. to just show all the spots. Hi, Cher. Launching probe. I, did they make a mod for that? I guess technically they already exist on the planet. When yeah, I don't think it's random. I think there are fixed locations. Probe launched. It'd be nice if you would be able, you could do like an in-game research thing that just showed you where to put the probe. Boy, it'd be great if they did that. And like a multi-probe launch or something, or like an auto-probe deploy. Yeah. Like I get in the beginning, like this is the novel and new thing, and you're like, wow, this is kind of cool. And then you know, yeah, doing yeah. late game, <laughs> planet probing seems like a real uh, buzzkill. Um, big Terraria news. I didn't know Terraria was still being updated. I was gonna say, is Terraria, Terraria finally over? Okay, I'm definitely going to want heavy firepower for this. So I am going to take Zaid and I am going to take Garrus. The bestest boy. I'm still fucking tickled. He called himself Archie. <laughs> Um, uh, increase slowing the world around you to come out. Oh, I get bullet time after I do it. Nice. Uh, yeah, no, I want bullet time. Give me bullet time. <laughs> and I'm going to get this one too. Shockwave is great. Um, and you're going to see why. Uh, Garrus cannot level up. Disruptor ammo. Evolved disruptor ammo. Yeah, it's really handy when allies have ammo because you can set it to become squad so that, like, if you don't have disruptor ammo and you're like, I need disruptor ammo, you can tell Zaid to use it and everybody gets it. That's pretty handy. Yeah. Dude, cancel the Stadia version and claims he won't work with Google because working with Google is a liability because Google algorithms decide to disable his entire 
Google account. Google account has it. Any help on getting? That's a lot of Google. Um, Google, Google. Google. -do. The algorithm disabled his account, and they can't be like, "Oh yeah, sorry about that. We'll turn it back on." Because like, I'm pretty sure that's within their power. Yeah. Although I honestly don't know what Chucklehead would be waiting for the Google Stadia version of Yeah, really. Of freaking Terraria, considering especially it goes on sale on Steam like all the goddamn time. I think. It's been I've owned Terraria for too long. Now I'm just thinking of Luna just going, okay, Googaloo. Googaloo. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to our processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Well, there was an original flag for a terms of service violation on the YouTube account, which hadn't uploaded a video for months. Two. Oh my god. As you can see, we keep tight control. Google is dumb. Oops, I fuck. Each prisoner's cell is a self contained modular unit. By the way, this is a privately owned prison. The airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We I'm house thousands glad we're of getting a tour? Question mark? We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. This feels like the, the like, uh... Here. The prison scene from, uh... hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Let's get on and with his this. Name is Jack? Anyone ever tried is he the worker? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. Uh, oh, These well, are getting flashbacks to. Oh, in Kung Fu Panda One, when the duck is being given a tour we have uh -huh. of ways the, to control the population. And then immediately it goes to shit. The funds from Cerberus cleared. Yeah. This is just a result of the issue going to Google. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermarket. Google is dumb. <laughs> Google. Google's fucking dumb. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Rex. I feel like I recently had a similar problem. Uh. Oh no, I had a problem with PayPal because I was trying to figure out why they were charging me. Oh my god. Not the torturer himself. What the? Is there something what? I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. No, no, I don't want for your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Christ. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. So it's a private yeah. run prison. Who yeah, what puts I just people said. in there? Go nowhere um, so basically... Um... I wish I could go. <laughs> Sorry, that line is always funny to me. Um, basically, Aww. basically, the Blue Suns is one of the the criminal groups that we fought to get Garrus. By the way, um, yeah, there are huge fucking organized crime syndicate though. Um, so they own this prison. They basically capture prisoners and then they say, "Hey, if you don't pay us to keep them, we'll just put them back on your planet." What the fuck kind of gang operation is this? I hear the screaming in my head. How is 
is this legal? I guess technically it's this is legal. outside of like <laughs> Citadel jurisdiction. Yeah, we're outside Citadel space. And like this fucking gang of criminals was like, you know what? We want to be cops, My the ultimate Shepard, criminal. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Go help. to hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. Diplomacy has failed. <laughs> and we go for the nuclear I'm on it. Okay, just really were like, yeah, we'll just have her walk into a cell. Because she will definitely do that. I'm curious who the fuck this Jack is supposed to be, though. We'll see Jack. I'm on it. This will put him down. Got it. So we can... Yes, I can tell them to change their weapons. Good. Change weapons. Changing weapons. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. Are those just taser dogs? What are those? <laughs> uh, basically, they're taser dogs. It's actually a pretty good way to put it. Oh, that breathing sounds the soundtrack is weird. Can't target them. Affirmative. Ooh. I love this right. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way. He's doing it. Be ready. Jack. The music, holy shit. They're going to kill Ooh. us. Let's move. She's angry. They're attacking Jack. Oh, don't worry, Garris. We know that they're attack. Uh, never mind. She's attacking this. them. I think. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized, but don't kill Jack. Checks locked down. Locked down. Sectors seven, nine, and eleven have lost life support. No survivors. Oh, oh my god. Let's see. Oh, this was a bad gamble on their part. Loud and clear. Hostile engaged. What do I use to heal? Nothing. Nothing? I just auto heal. Oh. Oh, I think I keep using the shield bar with the health bar. Oh, oh my 
Hell yeah, shotgun damage. There is damage. a lot happening right now. There is a lot happening right now. Oh, hang on, Garrus. We're in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Hang on. Oh, do you want to repeat that? No. Just some homework. No. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised it doesn't just play the dialogue over the hacking sounds. Oh, Whoa! Okay. That was a weird visual effect. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh man, the ceiling looks like a disco floor. Probably not the intended purpose. This is bad. This is bad. Ugh. Oh dear. Uh, oh, Puffy Kick, hello. Uh, it's going happened? all right, except I died. So I guess it's not all right. I don't think I've ever seen the camera freak out like that before. Yeah, we'll do that. Travel to a new star system needed a mass relay. The checkpointing is so much more bearable. Yeah. I don't know how I ever beat this game on Insanity difficulty. Because it's, it's fucking mean. That's how I feel every time I think of, like, how I beat Cave Story on minigun mode. Yeah. Like, I used to know how to play video games. What the hell happened? <laughs> oh, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, <laughs> the charge is gonna do a lot of fucking damage now. Alright, shockwave is. talking about the shotgun. Uh, shotguns do a shit ton now. I mean, they did a shit ton in the last game too, I just wasn't able to use them. Oh shit, there's a mech over there. I need my grenade launcher. Oh, oh damn it. This stuff has seemed really fucking difficult. Yeah, it's because of these mechs. And I don't remember the exact placement of everything, so it's a little bit more challenging than it used to be. I was gonna say, I guess there's no real way to like run around the mech. No, you have to kill everything to move forward. The murder is so slow. Bullets too slow. Shields have failed. Oh my god, I cleaved through that man's armor and everything. That's what you need, a melee. You got it. You need fist weapons. I do have a melee, but it requires me to get up into the spaces, and that's not very safe in this game. Switch to my pistol. Do headshots do anything in this game? Or they do, really? they're just surprisingly hard to actually do in this game. <laughs> I 
Everyone's got such tiny heads except for the Krogans. Oh, oh, where's fuck. the neck? Uh, to my right? Uh. uh. Okay, I just used barrier. I was gonna say, you got this part on, but like, hang on, there was definitely a mech in here last time. And it's not like the spawns for me, so. This is bad, this is bad. Not ideal, no. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, they explode like fucking mini nukes. It's a little excessive. Oh, it's so loud. So red. Oh. Uh, nope, nothing else. Okay. Okay. The lighting on. is very cool, but it is also making it very hard for me to see. I think I'm getting just blind. Yeah, it can be kind of hard to see because of just how much fucking red there is. Wait, shit. That one. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Does he not have clan working? Does he what? He doesn't have like the, the oh. tattoos. Yeah, there are a few terrains that don't. I'll take the shot. Sorry, I've been reading up stuff on the wiki. <laughs> uh, you've been doing your lore homework. I'm trying homework. not to like spoil myself too much, but like, huh? You're doing your lore homework. Yeah. Listen, I gotta keep a rest of all of the lore. So much lore. That guy up at the top there who was screaming at us. Ah. Uh. I don't know. Depending on risk and reward investment, I would say this was a bad call all over. Like, you lose your. <laughs> I mean, the prison might be salvageable, but like, most of your crew is dead. You shot most of your merch, like... Can't get it. Come on, boys, get, take some shots! Please stop. Oh, he's dead. Okay, thank you! Oh. She's so angry. Cerberus. What are you wearing? 
Uh, very little. You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going you sound anywhere like with an you asshole. Cerberus. <laughs> I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? The ship is going yeah. down in flames. We can get you <laughs> safe. One of the options is just yeah. Yes. Yes, because you could be such a smarmy bitch this game. I like see you try. You're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Jack, do you want a shirt? We can get her a shirt. I think Jack should probably have a shirt. <laughs> if we do her loyalty mission, she gets a shirt. <laughs> One of the rare cases where doing a loyalty mission puts on more clothing. Yeah. Do we also figure out why she's so angry? Uh, yes. I'm guessing it's Welcome probably not Normandy, super pleasant. Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On the ship, Actually, Miranda, you. you're you're not my second in command. That's Garrus. I was Shepherd. gonna say you're you're definitely not needle. second in command. You're not even second best Miranda on this ship. The system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off. Oh, well, if you go to the East room, he has the trash compactor. <laughs> Her loyalty mission will allow you to understand. I would like to understand. We will understand. Like, admittedly, she already has, like, these reasons to be angry. Like, being in that prison must have sucked ass, and being frozen in that prison must have been extra unpleasant. But, uh, there seems to be extra baggage there. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just worried. Okay, yeah. So if we go to this med bag upgrade is basically just like get rid of the scars. So many upgrades. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage overcoming disease did the krogan evolve or did some of their scientists develop a treatment krogan scientists <clears throat> never met krogan scientists worthy of term no natural evolution krogan physiology incredibly durable organ redundancy backup systems cellular regeneration genophage like any other natural hazard krogan evolved past it the genophage was a terrible mistake it nearly destroyed the krogan and their culture now they have a chance to recover Naive viewpoint. Krogan, too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Uh, Geneticists, this chemists, only happens sociologists, mathematicians. Yeah, basically. A version of Genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan centric areas. Warden, I hate to tell you this, but uh. You never considered Eugenics other is never the answer. Hundreds, thousands. Modified Genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. 
How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan Evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. I would argue Don't that genophage to is a war friend. crime, but okay. Stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for... Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your vote, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like it, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. No Mrs. <laughs> Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile. Aside from Shepherd, guarding what? you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. I mean, Great I like Jacob, us. but he, he isn't Garrus is the problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we're not, we're not trying to go further than this, Jacob. We're just, Consider it dropped. We're just friends. I trust you to keep yeah, everything no worries. professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy this on This dude is this game's kind then. Watch. He what might be. I mean, he is, but like, also, I. It's not like they could he be fills the same uh, role, but he's better him. written. Whether they like it or not. Anyway, he's I should get head on his shoulder. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Um, I'm checking in for everybody. Man, received a new message at your private terminal. Kelly, why are you always checking my emails? <laughs> Uh, I don't remember me. I had a gun and he stopped me from hurting myself. Oh! Oh, yeah! This was the lady in Mass Effect 1 who also was on a coos and also suffered trauma, and we had to stop her from killing herself. I mean, they just send you emails? I guess, yeah. Some of, some of the stuff we did in Mass Effect 1 will come back as, like, conversations and stuff, but... Uh, Omega Clerk. Oh, yeah, this oh, was... Oh, this is probably, uh, what's-his-face? Um, Daniel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Let's go talk to I Jack. I will say the thing about the Solarians that makes me cranky is that they really double down on like yes eugenics was a good idea and it's like dudes no committing actual war crimes via genophage is like actually pretty fucking bad shit we are going to make those dirty buggers pay yeah you tell them donnelly jack is down here at the very bottom of the ship is she okay no she's not okay Hey. Will she ever be okay? Tell me about you, um, she'll be better. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. They're helping you. That's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you. I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are some nasty things. I don't know if I've ever things. heard of Jack in this I'm game before. I'm gonna find something I can use. Not a lot of people talk about her. What if the answers aren't what you expect? <clears throat> I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates. Places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. So, Anyone I will say this, since they're doing the change to Miranda's butt, are they also going to change the camera pain. angle that is the perfectly capturing a uh, Jack's side boot? Um, What's your I think so. Cerberus? 
They raised me in a research <clears throat> facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. Is it that hard to you find? Know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, Not yet, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I mean, I don't trust EA or Bioware as far as I can tell I mean, it's not me, my chances any of more, are yeah. Sim I should go. It's weird to think there was yep. a time where EA and Bioware were both, like, at least okay. Yeah. Where they were, like, moderately, eh. Yeah, I mean, they were doing their thing. Neverwinter Nights was good. Yeah. I can't remember what EA did before they became what they are now. Uh, I assume it was okay, though. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Jack. Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. There hasn't been any I haven't entirely enjoyed. That's fair. Hmm. A lot of Some their earlier stuff was... from before. Uh. I mean, I like Neverwinter Nights, but man, it's just it it not some quite point. aged uh, you know, gracefully. The a whole lot of mercs they have a lot of janky of shit. Yeah. And he kept alive with all the mercs Although the I think part of that is because it runs off a D and D like rolling sort of thing. I let you go. Talk more later, the others. Okay. Just leave me to reminisce next to the trash. Yep. I don't know, everyone was so scared of Jack, but she seems actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, I don't know, the game like tries to paint her as like incredibly mentally unstable, but she's actually just angry. Commander. She's fine. Do do yeah, she's angry. Miranda, there's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Okay, fine. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I not be that way, Miranda. Jeez, I was just gonna come in here and have a coffee with my bestie, but I guess we're not besties anymore. Mm -hmm. Was prime to enjoy because it has at least insists on being a written narrative. The thing about Neverwinter Nights, though, is that Neverwinter Nights is a like it is a it's a module designed from a template rather than a module designed from a narrative. So like it's the kind of thing you would read about as like an example adventure, and they designed it that way on purpose so that people would use their mod kit and like make their own content. Shepard. Need me for something. You can Have host you a, a game with ninety six people on it. Bit. It's I'm bananas. Some calibrations. Talk to you later. Oh, Garrus. Why don't you want to talk to us? I guess I haven't done enough content for them. Why to is everyone's boyfriend snubbing us? <laughs> you haven't done enough, but we just we just did like, a whole mission. I hired a new person who says that we should become a pirate queen. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I did buy a few <laughs> model ships. They should be in my room now. <gasps> yes. Yeah, there they are. Finally. We the have a best content. We have <gasps> a Geth ship. It's so good. We have a Geth ship. We have the New Normandy, and we have a Turian ship. So wait, is there more that you can put in? Oh there? yeah, we have to go to the Citadel and buy some more. <gasps> wait, we can also get fish. Yeah, we can get fish. Oh, hell yeah. We have to make sure to feed them, otherwise they die. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, increase the same shot damage. I feel like Sounds. the thought of Shepard being, like, really into Gunpla. I can totally see that. Power damage by 5%. Recon hood is just weapon damage. Is this the one with headshot damage? Yeah, headshot damage. Um, 
some health by 5%. I like how they're like, we know you don't like to wear helmets, but if you do wear a helmet, we'll give you some extras. Yeah, I can wear these goofy-ass fucking goggles, and it will show up. They're so weird. It will show up in cutscenes and everything. Um, let's see. Uh, reduces delay from shield regeneration. I can get new legs. Storm speed. No, I want this. Okay. Seeing you start even practice plays with the angry woman, scary. <laughs> yeah. That fits in line with no sexism bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we talked to Jack. I mean, Not he's. Jack. Very reasonable. Yeah, you talked to her. Yeah, I, I was. I meant to say, um, Joker. Um, but we, we spoke to him. Joker. Was, yeah, the the pilot. Oh yeah. I don't know if we spoke to him this time, but everyone, most people, didn't have anything interesting to no. say. Uh, you know what? The thief's mission he isn't. He probably even kill me. Huh? <laughs> Apparently, you and Kelly will feed your fish for you if oh. you have a romancer. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot you could romance her. I do. Um. I do feel a little bad about like the romancing Liara in the first game, but like, I don't know. I kind of wanted to see what like the romance culmination uh -huh. was, which was kind of awkward, like sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I feel like it would be reasonable. It's been like we've died. We it's died. Been two years. Like Garrus is really flirty all of a sudden. Yeah. Everybody's just really horny. Everyone's horny for Shepard, and I am likewise horny for them. It's mutual horniness. Also, what? Why can't poly relationships be a thing? I don't know. Shepard has two hands. If you try to flirt with two people in Mass Effect 1, like, you get a confrontation scene where they're like, you have to choose one. And you can uh, say, like, why can't I have you both? But then it's like, that just ends both of them. Oh, they, they're like, ugh. Yeah. I hate that shit. The love triangle shit is stupid as hell. Mm -hmm. I didn't romance Liara in the first game, but it decided I romance her, and then it counts as cheating when I romance a character I actually wanted to romance an enemy too. Aww. That's rude. What? I mean, what happens if you romance somebody and then you have them die? Because you, you could have, like, you could romance Caden or Ashley. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you would romance Ashley, but you could have done that, and then... It, you have to choose to have one of them die, so what if you choose the one? <laughs> Is that more mercenary than the game will I don't know. Do? Cause that'll, that'll cut off some loose ends really quickly. Yeah. The romance system in these games is bad and ruins romance in video games for me. Shepherd, enter the password and receive a free gift. Later. A free gift. We have people we need to talk to Got first. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. To it's one of those silly fishes. No. Hanar. Oh, Hanar. Oh, they're so fancy now. Look at all the silly strikes. just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being secure to here is Garris, a terrible are you okay? job. He's this angry. Exactly why I left. Garris, do you need a hug? Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package. Mass Effect 2, the presents. one where everyone needs a hug. Looks like they've tightened up security. Oh, that's just xenophobic as fuck. Down. What? Huh? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Wow. Apparently, the way not to romance Liara is to agree with the truth that she's shady. Yeah. Dead. 
they seem no, like they're dead. missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking with the captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you asked. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem this already. Guy seems like a hard ass. My console says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered genes... I don't know how you accidentally romance Zayara. I've never, think, like, Alec... I've never done it by accident. <laughs> Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. I wonder and if it's to like and kind of to like a bug that itself, they never fixed because it didn't really, I guess, technically ruin anything except dollars. you know your relationship with Liara. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here and we call it done? Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up. Making this game simple chat system correctly separate. Being a decent person and putting there. Moves on a crewmate separately may not have been easy. Around. That's true. I said you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The it's council not enough probably yeah. wants to talk to the one I feel like, like there's six ad. spots on this dial, and I feel like they should have taken advantage of that more. Yeah. I will. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. Wonder what the fuck are you doing? It's just kind of like shuffling around. Equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need, or can I get back to work? Uh... It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and their keepers got things restored fast. Taser reward got the Wait, worst. Wait, you guys are keeping those things? Near the uh, hall. yeah, they're super they're handy. I got. Trying to get power restored. I, I got some bad news. Um, I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I like how you can call them out for. <laughs> Yeah. Torturing suspects. Yeah. So this version of the Citadel is way more interesting. We're technically not in the same area we were before. Um, this is a different part of the Citadel. This is more towards like, I guess you could call this the middle class area. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed. By the way, that's the reporter we helped out in Mass Effect 1. Good day, my friends. Oh, that's Welcome nice of them. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government are all hammers just like? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify uh, for don't. a discount, though. They don't. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase Now we're going to do my favorite thing in this whole game. Oh. What do you need me to do? Just Marketing. use your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. We can get a hamster, by the way. <laughs> Fish. Space Raptor. Uh, the original Mormon Oh my uh, god, they the... even come with the Gundam boxes. Yeah. It's great. Oh! It really is my favorite star on the Citadel. It has everything I could want. It has a it hamster. Gunpla. 
But wait, what happens if you go to all the stores and start doing that? Um, we can go to every store and do that, and then when you walk by every store, every store says, I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Doesn't that just cancel do each other out? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral veret, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. Hamster, which is a reference to Baldur's Gate? Did they have a space hamster in Baldur's Gate? Uh, no. I think, so um... Can. can we work out a discount? A discount? Ah, uh, there's a... I think one of the companions you, you get in Baldur's Gate 1 has a pet hamster. Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. <laughs> No other gun shop. But no other like, gun other shop, people. but um, bad news, bud. <laughs> it's just like your companions watching. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Shepard, what the fuck? One of the characters talks about his space hamster. Oh, oh game salesman. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. It's based Galaxy on of Fantasy? Is it like Gwent? Really um, I hear it has 11 players now. Galaxy of Fantasy. All the titles are like very cheap imitations of other game Any games. Also, this is a joke on GameStop. You know what's good? <laughs> Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer you can data play off any game we sell. Game. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Those Asari <laughs> Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. Shinakiba? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Say more game stuff. Say more funny dialogue. Asari, I was playing this fascinating human game, Solitaire. Did you need something? <laughs> I wish they still made role playing games like well, they used to. Well, you're not playing pinball? These days it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games where you had to remember to drink water and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. <laughs> Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. Jarris, you want anything from the game? The thing about <laughs> games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto translation. I don't get the complaint. I don't know. I played Dota with her friends before. Games. It's kind of so funny. Capture and beat slaves. By the way, Grim Turnus Alliance is GTA. Do you know anyone who plays that extra net game, Third Coil? Third Coil. Oh, Second Life. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm not there's only so many times you can sweep the place. I believe that. Oh, yeah. tell me about it. Available on OSD, <laughs> I could alphabetize the racks or something. How many sports of dialogue you does play he those have? Games? They sell There's Western so many. And to Krogan. Have you tried Galaxy? Okay, yeah, he's repeating them now. I love that game. Uh, uh yep, we're talking. Really oh, ah, uh, this one. Please play the one. What? <laughs> so, so, the way these advertising things scan, they just basically scan people nearby and they're like, they use your data on the Citadel to like advertise to you. So it's like, Shepard, you're dead. Here's this thing that you might be interested in. What kind of fucked up world is this? <laughs> They're trying to sell me a space car. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like the Mach 5. I don't know if I could get into it. Oh, hi Charles Robin, I'm sorry. Um... 
How many recently dead people did they get for recording that one? Um, there's a better one that I need to find. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. Um... Oh, people want to hear your story, Shepard. It's the reporter lady. Oh, this is, this is the one that can get punched in the face, and then you can punch her in the face here. But I didn't punch her in the face. smear job on me now Shepard you may object to my methods but we're on the same side you're bad you're news I just want to give your story it's due what did she do last time I don't exactly she, remember so, so we gave her a nice interview last time but apparently she used that information to smear us it's fair to what say an the asshole move. The battle hinged on your words if true you told Admiral Hackett to assist the destiny ascension Costing hundreds of human lives and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Oh, was that the like? Yeah, that's action. the puncher. Figure each had a crew of around 300. <laughs> the Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers: Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Eat Commander shit, Shepard, lady. first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check big. Do we get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Well, that's what you get, lady. That's what you get for being a jerk. Is there anything of note yeah, in here? Go into the club. Yeah, oh, we, so we can get drunk again. Um, oh no. <laughs> I don't think there's anything. We can dance! We can watch Shepard dance! <gasps> oh fuck no! It's bad. <laughs> Shepard can't dance. <laughs> Why is she doing like a single dad shuffle? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. Here, I'll do it from the front. <laughs> Kara, like she's kind of feeling it, but not really. <laughs> Garrus just stares and says, "Like, oh god, why?" It would be funny if, like, the drunker Shepard was, the better he got at dance. <laughs> oh, that would be so good! I'm so mad they didn't do that. Bioware, hire me. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is... Actually, don't hire me. I do not want to be in charge of Anthem. <laughs> oh, I kind of... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, there are other stores, because this... That was the highest level, so we're going down to the lowest level. I like how, in the meantime, since this is Shepard's been gone, the council's already been one. like, uh, no thanks. Oh, <gasps> food! Oh! Ascension novel? Yeah. Uh, Revelations novel. Can you actually read those? I think you can. I think they go to your journal. This is the best thing. Exactly. Or your codex or something. Uh, this is also the area where if you're like walking down these stairs and you have uh, Garrus and Tali, he can t he'll talk to Tali about elevators, and they're like, "Do you remember the elevators on the Citadel, Tali?" And she's like, "I have a shotgun," and then he goes on to say something else, and she's just <laughs> I forget what else he says. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Why do Garrison and Natalie have such a strange relationship? I don't know. Again? Oh, is this it? Please tell me this is it. Yes!
That's like some serious of... torts. <laughs> I fucking oh. love it. Why um, do we buy the award-winning Elcor Hamlet? Oh god, I. Refreshing delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now. Tupari, now available with dextro amino acids. Oh, so that means somebody can drink them. Tupari, now made with 10% real Tupo berry juice. Tupari is made with no natural sweeteners. I knew a man who went three days. I would hope not. Recommend Tupari to their friends. The last one is on my list. We sell so ah. much Tupari, it has to be good. Twelve trillion bottles of Tupari <laughs> are sold in a day. Where's yours? Oh, that's right. It's inside me. Tupari, ten minutes of berry bliss for only one credit. Only losers drink Perry Game. <laughs> What? We do not! Okay. I don't know! I don't know! This is where, like, half the budget went. I can't, I'm... I'm... <laughs> okay, there's nothing in here. I think, I think they put a plot thing here later. It's based on an old image about translating. A soft drink slogan. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what soft drink slogan had the weird mistranslation. Or, yeah. I checked, my credit kit was gone. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit kit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me. Earth Clan, just because okay. of all Clan need. It was a poor choice of it words, was an expression. sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. He's higher than C-Sec. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Can you find it? Yeah. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The foundation is not concerned with profits. <laughs> oh no. We never get a stomach ache from all these endorsements. <laughs> An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my. You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. I like how that's considered a paragon, actually. <laughs> we did like, a good thing. Kind of bleeping people. <laughs> <laughs> Shepard, we know times are tough. Statistics and records show that you made only zero credit last year. If you need something to get you to your next paycheck, on error did not found. Let cause pawn and payday low. <laughs> The store actually. Welcome to Sarenus application. Can I interest you? Good credit, ah, bad credit. Shepherd. <laughs> Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please look around the <laughs> store. It's a pleasure to have you here. A <laughs> was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. 
What about an you endorsement? Know, a bit of software oh. in my line of work. Oh, it's no. a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. Th thank you, you for agreeing, like girl. <laughs> Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. It's an exclusive I endorsement, I promise you. you for it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're definitely the only now. ship of your Absolutely. kind that is getting this endorsement. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, so which no. tech module are we supposed to get? I'm gonna have that playing in my head on what? loop when I finally go to like All Galaxy's Edge. Safe. I swear to Christ. <clears throat> Oh man, this game. Here we go. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well, the Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? Get your shit together, asshole. This girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, Ooh. just a minute. And you, she gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? I am justice, bitch. <laughs> you think you're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a. Thank you. I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Aww. Poor yeah. Girl. Unfortunately, Koreans are kind of treated like the Romani, which sucks. Um. I was gonna say, they're like given this cool task to go out into the universe, and surprise, the universe fucking hates you. There's no reason. <laughs> go find something out about the universe. Oh, you found out that the universe hates you. It's so rude. It's rude as hell. Um. I gotta find one of those things. There it is. Okay. Um, Eden Prime. Oh, that seems like it was forever ago. So I want to. Oh, there's so many floors. Yeah. Okay, I think I want to go here because there's another little side thingy. Oh, but yeah, no, the Citadel's like huge. Now. Okay, so where the? F oh wait, I think these are just floors of the same thing. I don't think I actually went anywhere. Oh, what place am yeah, I thinking? Yeah, this looks pretty similar. Is it a different planet? I think it's a different planet. Okay, so we'll go to the Presidium. Ooh, this looks familiar. Yeah. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. I was gonna say, Udina's Shepherd a fucking asshole. Here. Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. 
the immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. What? How do you dismiss that <laughs> claim? There was no one, one that attached the There was literally <laughs> one attached to the Citadel, and you're just like, mm, wasn't real. You and your crew ever spoke with Sabra. I believe you. The worst part is you live in a reality where people actively do this all yeah. the time. So, like, it's believable. It just makes me angrier. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan The Reapers are real, though. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. I... We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from what? conquering the city. Uh? I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Yeah, you tell him, Keith David. Not a public acknowledgement to give in your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Do I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. At this rate, probably well, not likely. That went better than expected. No, Morden! The council's offer is Morden? Just Morden, what are you doing? What? Can what? I help you, Morden? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Morden? <laughs> Why do my games act like this on stream? <laughs> I've never oh, ever seen that in my what? life. What was he even doing? Morden, what were you doing? <laughs> and why did you get way too close to Anderson? Why are you still there? Morden, hello? <laughs> God, I am highlighting the shit out of that later. Oh my god. You'll see it later. Hive, I'm gonna highlight it. It was so good. It was so good. They both disappeared. Garrus and Morden are gone. Oh my fucking god. Yes, I could. <coughs> but you oh my fucking god. have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you either. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Yeah, go to your of room. Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Honestly, Adina, you know, I'd take you more seriously if you weren't wearing fucking Adidas <laughs> Right? <laughs> the the hell? Those shoes are Adidas a crime. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How've the last couple years treated you? Oh, <laughs> Clint said, thank you. how I plan to spend my twilight years. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. 
I can't oh my blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. I'm like waiting for so something else to happen. <laughs> I know, I know right? I'm pretty on pins and needles. needles. They're back Why there now. We stop the collectors. <laughs> he got put to the corner. <laughs> across the galaxy. They've been Much putting like time out. I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff oh Lieutenant Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Of course, That's you That's fair. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do. Oh, oh shit, wait, hang oh. on, fuck. <clears throat> I gotta go fly back in there because there's a there's a party member we can get. Mm. Of course it requires to do a whole mission, but it's a fun one, so Wait, there's somebody on the Citadel we can get? Um a DLC character, yeah. Ooh. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm just taking it back. <laughs> oh, I can skip that, thank god, okay. I don't know why we have to display this symbol here. The, the man extending his arms and legs, I forget what that's called. Yeah, the Vesuvius man? Vesuvius man, I think it is, yeah. I don't know why Apparently that's- Apparently he's radioactive. <laughs> okay, Morda, no funny business. Please, he's a my very, stomach can't take it. He's a very excitable Ready fellow. Enter the password and receive a oh, okay. Yeah. Keeper. <laughs> Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. I missed I, wait, more than wait. dialogue because of you. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something Fine, petite, it's smart, it's smart and Japanese would be your style. I it, oh. please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. <coughs> Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. <laughs> Big mission, huh? saving the galaxy. I'm really glad yeah, you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. What does formal wear have to do with anything? I guess you could go with what you have on, but you kind of stick out at a fancy party. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in. And I think you're gonna love it. Sorry. <laughs> what, are you excited about a heist? <clears throat> I am excited about the heist, because I'm also excited about the hammer that we're in the background. No. Oh. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Oh, so it's Sombra. Yeah, basically. Like... What, seven years before Sombra? Yeah, I was gonna say, Sombra seems to have been lifted from her <clears throat> character design. Yeah. <laughs> nice original work there, Blizzard. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> 
Wait, so do we actually get to go to, on a heist to a yeah. fancy party in yeah. formal clothing? Yeah. <gasps> it's like really this good. It has everything. It has everything. We're gonna go do it now. It's like all my dreams come true. Ouch. You don't have that many materials. But I need materials, so give me. Launching probe. Well, don't get too excited about it. Uh, what is the thing that I'm eating? Eating? Yeah. Probe launched. Moment Zero is kind of hard to find shit for. There's like very specific systems that you have to go to. Look, okay, we're not gonna bother with this place. Do the resources refresh after a while, or? I don't think so, no. But there's like a lot of planets to fucking scan, so. I was gonna say, there's a lot more galaxies this time. on the side. I like how you can probe the planet before landing on it. Like, just imagine being at this party and there's just a bunch of fucking probes flying down from the atmosphere. I was gonna say, wouldn't that be, like, deeply suspicious? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, increases damage, reduces cooldown by 80%. This is better, I think, because <laughs> it's 100% less dam. It it's 100 points less damage, but it's 80% cooldown reduction. Oh, if the target is killed. Okay. Yeah, it's still worth it. So I'm guessing Kasumi was planned DLC? Um, she was DLC that was released later. Like, she wasn't- she's not like Zaid, where she was, like, ripped from the game and then sold later. Um. Huh. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus system. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't Is that actually a thing? I guess. And you'll be fine. Take it I mean, technically, it we are so running a murder really operation. That is, that is it is technically true. Don't you think? <coughs> you look great. You should wear this stuff more. Wow. Remind Bobby. me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic. Willing to crack open a mass For context, gray boxes are basically the inside. Mass Effect version of the black box from Near Automata. You have been waiting patiently. <laughs> Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, well, and resolution for this cutscene didn't age well. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute. Is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a side arm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. 
and then we just How did we into the vault commission and somebody to make a statue of to get a chance to say goodbye. legitimately yeah, like a interesting that's what I'm going for uh elusive like man probably did it person on a galactic scale well the elusive man probably did it little do you, we know of the elusive man's stuff? hobbies include uh very great sculptures of Turian war criminals yeah basically after you, Ms. Gan. Wait, is Kazumi also going inside? Won't he recognize Well, uh, in a way. Oh, no. There seems to be an issue with the statue. <laughs> is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we met. Shiny. Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Allison Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you. You've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, Hawk, your accent is anything of. everywhere. <sighs> Don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. No, I would never do that. Cause trouble? Me? You may never. pass through, Miss Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain what outside. What is his you accent? Understand. I don't know. <laughs> No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go Australia right. via uh, Eastern Europe. I was gonna say, it's like, I'm what trying to know? place it, and I'm we like, I'm pretty plan. sure it's we like an imaginary accent from, like, I'll stay a out of planet. I'll stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Okay. How did you ever contain that situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness it's not those rabble with dogs and spears. That goes to a security room. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Hurry up, Dad. Oh, please. It's, it's a good thing nobody it. knows what the fuck we look like. Yeah, really. <laughs> what? A fireplace next to the books? It's a TV fireplace. If this was a scrim, we would be dead. dead by now. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Stupid Pass bitch. <laughs> voice lock, kinetic barrier, Fuck you, sir. DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. Is this going to be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? <laughs> Cut them out. Sink into his Never room? Fails. Yeah. If we can find it. Katie could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Okay, we got stuff to do. It looks like the barrier is to do a sneak and mission. Floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic ah, fields. Jesus Christ! Yeah, she does that. Should put a bell on her or something. Jeez. Uh, following the power line. Don't mind me. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't mind me. I'm just looking through the walls. One sec. Oop. That should take care of the barrier. Okay. Nice. Voice sample next. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Man, this party is deeply unobservant that they don't see a sparkly Kazumi <laughs> figure wandering around. I understand the security, but who would dare to What is his wife? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. I only have to worry about simple luxuries. What? Why? Is this happening? <laughs> me and 
He's talking, obviously. I can see why we would need to get him talking long enough to get a voice print, because, like, he has the most unique voice I've ever heard. And I cannot place where it's supposed to be from. <laughs> I wonder if that's like his actual speaking voice. I have to. I wonder as well. I wonder if they were just like asking him to do this, or if he like actually just sounds like that. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. I don't know, like which one would be more impressive, honestly. Mm. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Whoa, Hawk why'd your voice change? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hawk knows procedure. You're not getting in until I hear it from my commander. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. We know. We were just talking to the nice man out front, wearing um. the Punisher armor. There's another way. This Nobody look over here! The people at this party do not give a fuck. Just put in some sick parkour. Cause we go kill him. Go murder that man. Like, guns are loud. There's no silence. Taking cover. You see that? <laughs> I don't think she can see him. Cloaking. Kazumi. Do a murder. Nice. Over there. Hang on. Come on. Kazumi, what are you doing? Please. Please murder. Okay, fine. Please murder him. Going silent. Nice work. You can shoot the glass. Mm hmm. Got it. Ah, the worst enemy. Door. Door. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Ah, found a sample? No, a credit check. Hell it's yeah! Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cage's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Was Katie an android of some kind? No, her boyfriend. Oh. I'm just curious as to how and why he has a gray box. I think it's for his, his hackiness. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. Probably contaminated though. We should find another sample. Uh decryption update. Graybox technology and decryption key. Generating ocean even the snow. Ugh. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pack. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do. Let's get out of here. Not yet. Well, what if I want to scan more plants? Someone got through on the balcony. How the hell did they do that? I don't know. Jump down, shut the guards, broke the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you won't have to film. Oh my god! Dude, it was like 12 feet. Why did you scream? <laughs> Holy shit. God. For a bunch of, like, no good, like, murderers and thieves and stuff, they, they are just, they are totally chilling yeah. at this party. Yeah. They have stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> I wonder what that looks like from outside that room. We need the password. <laughs> Look for a security console we can hack for info. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, 
Mr. Hawk. We need the password. Let's look for a security console. Okay, can. fine. We'll look for a security console. Oh, yeah, man. It's always checklists with you people. Brad, nobody's oh, looking. I really love my new friendly ghost friend. How was she able to be see through and like, uh, not opaque? <laughs> the opposite of opaque. I guess transparent at the same time. Um, I don't know. We've got company. Hey! This is gotta be really loud. Does anybody do a thing? I have an idea. See what you can do. Krogan anime! Oh! A lot of shooting, apparently. <laughs> also, we number. I was gonna say, is that 420 or It is 420. Really it's 420. It's 420. Huh. Fuck yeah. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and. Got it. Now we can crack Bullet? that voice scanner. Okay. I'll just say then. fine art theft is like one of the weirdest and kind of funniest things. What am I, um. My art history teacher? told us a story how she basically got invited to go see a stolen piece of art and she didn't go because she was so scared of getting fucking murdered <laughs> like one of her students came up and be like hey you know that mi missing piece of art um I know where it is do you want to see it that is that is shady as fuck You already said that, computer. <laughs> Let me in. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. What? Oh, right. The statue. I was uh -huh. like, is she hiding her armor in a hammer screen? Wait, can't you be invisible while you do that? Can you me? Oh my god, video game. Video games. Hi, Don. Oh, Don. There's no video games here. What, what makes you think that we're... D Doing anything with video games? Wishy moshi dawn fire, that's it. It's my second body. <laughs> I was gonna say I like how it was like yeah. perfectly. It was perfectly human out. shaped. So what's the deal? What's going on here? We're doing the Kasumi we're... DLC. We're doing a heist. We're doing a heist, oh, yeah. Right. Doing some crimes. We're, we're the crime gals. This fucker has the Statue of Liberty's head. <laughs> How and why? So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. Because he wanted it. This scanner will hone in on the gray vault. It's not far. That's how these rich types are. Uh, this is one of those creepy statues yeah. from Ilos. Remember that? Vaguely, um, yeah. Wait, that's like a, something from Egypt. Uh, Statue oh, David is David. here? Wow, he's in rough shape. Yeah, he's not doing too great. Wow. What happened on door? Earth? I don't what know. Makes the David so rough? I assume, like, First Contact War fucked things up. Oh, that's right. Would do first it. Contact War was a thing. That's. Yeah talked about a lot and then also wait. kind of brushed over on average. Yeah, it is. Is it that is. the Rosetta Stone or oh, wait? No, case. that can't be the Rosetta okay. Stone. Was that like the yeah, Ten I, Commandments? I, it's either the Ten Commandments or the Rosetta Stone or some shit. Um, I don't know how this it's dude has Catholic. everything. I want to say it's the Ten Commandments. Oh, by the I'm way, sure those don't actually exist. this is a Dragon Age reference. This is an enemy from Dragon Age. <laughs> Which wow. one is it? Is it that pride demon thing? It's the ogre from the top of the tower. Yeah, it was in like the tutorial, demons, sure. they're not pride demons. 
Oh no. They're just called ogres, I think. Oh, okay. This is nice. Okay. Oddly relaxing. Those things are pretty um, I like how this vault is literally just an art gallery. It's like a Turian Titanic the way I hear it. Ooh, that must have sucked. Why are there so many just Krogan statues of Krogan's just standing? <laughs> Damn you! Uh, we'll click on that in a second. <laughs> is that supposed to be like a Planet of the uh, yeah, a Planet yeah. of the Apes reference? Hang on. Uh, this... That is. It's just abstract art. Not sure what it is though. This looks like a Oh, it's Corian oh. script. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. A salary for a month. Are you thinking over there of no? Yeah, he has the fucking um. He Wait, has the fucking. The... Isn't that a beacon? It's the it's the same thing we use to teleport from Ilos to the Citadel. It's a Mass Effect relay. Oh no! Yeah, it's like a backdoor relay. How the fuck do you steal those? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like its eyes are following me. Uh, this is a Rachni Queen. Uh, Rachni Queen. I guess everything. You know, those oh, ones must be really we rare. Boosts, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We did. Okay, now we can uh, touch this stuff. That's a Casa Locus. No, the Casa Locus. The gun that killed two presidents. Right in front of Lady, Lady Liberty. <laughs> I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This is valuable. Yeah. This is like. Ooh, it's, it's an SMG. A, it's the best SMG. Oh my god. Nice. It's, it's hyper precise. There it is. Rapid fire. Chews through fucking shields. This Vajra I'm drawing is actually coming out very cute, which is not um, surprising. Mm. Nice. Don't bother Miss Gold. It's cold locked. Ah. Uh. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. Sir, you know what? What did you ask for? I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing it's to. The grey box, you. Kasumi. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left so it open. So you're doing like an Irish accent. But you're still going to I, die. We don't know. <laughs> Oh, they got your oh. attention. Dude, just shoot a meme off. Kill him. Oh no, you hear a weird accent out of It's just like so perplexing. It's like, oh god, it's like, um, like scrambler camouflage, but for accents. I mean, if you're gonna be a big, as big of a art thief as this guy, you might as well speak in all of the accents at the same time. He's just stealing accents as well as art. <laughs> He's stealing everybody's accents! Oh, damn, really is good. <laughs> <laughs> Kasumi, are you okay? I just keep keeping. <laughs> Kasumi? Kasumi, Hello? are you okay? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Also, do we want to have a firefight in the art shop? Yes. <laughs> Again, it seems like the risk to reward situation is not super well thought out. Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now! We're blowing this popsicle stand. Seen it. Oh god. Uh, oh god. Kazumi? Hello? Kazumi, I need you to like stealth attack a giant robot. Can you do that? I think she's trying to get her shit together. She's like got no. <laughs> These mechs fucking suck. These mechs are awful and they throw them everywhere and I hate it. <laughs> I 
like a like the other ones is perfectly up like a regular. Um, uh, what's that race called? Uh, uh, you were? Yeah. You... That's actually a thing Lucky. in dogs that have ears that um stand up. They start out floppy, oh. and then they go through like a, a like a. Uh, an adolescence phase where they like have one ear that's standing up and the other one isn't quite there yet. Damn it. Oh, that's, that's adorable. <laughs> I don't know if it's like all dogs that have stand up ears, but from what I understand, that's pretty common occurrence. All dogs have stand up gotcha. ears. Well, that's. That makes Vajra even more adorable. Like, it's a really good trait that they gave her. Got a pack. <laughs> oh. Fighting. I am planning on playing Control after this, so if you want, I can like end Mass Effect after this, so you can actually be awake to see that. I really like Control. <laughs> I want to play Control someday, but I mean, I maybe I could, considering I do have a PS4, but it I, it seems very uh, graphically intensive. It's very graphically but intensive. It, but it, it still runs on lower, like it runs on the PS4. I need to get it on PS4. I'm not used to having a PS4, so like I haven't really touched it a whole lot. <laughs> I've also been stewing in horrible anxiety recently, so it's been kind of hard to do things. I was oh my god, what was it? I was playing Wonder Song recently, actually, and I was like, oh, it's weird how the. I was gonna say, I was surprised how much the plot of Wonder Song kind of also falls in line with the plot of Mass Effect to a degree. Because it's like, oh, the world is ending because some greater being decided that it must end. Mm -hmm. Except in Wonder Song, you play as a bard. There's God, like... it's such a sweet game. I have such fond memories of playing that game. It's a really good game. I tell it's me when you beat it, because I'd love to hear it. Very good. I was gonna say, I think I'm at the part where I'm in the city where, uh, there's a clock now. What the hell are you people doing and I have to find people at certain times in order to retreat right, them. Right, it's, um, the bar is home, like, hometown, that's right. Yeah. That's actually a really good segment. There's a few segments I've ever had in that, but that one's really good. Because it has a lot of, like, anti-capitalist messages baked in. That's really good. Oh god, fucking doing the part-time job in the, like, toy factory. <laughs> oh my god, Don. I- we had the funniest fucking experience earlier, and I'm gonna highlight oh. it. Cause you need to see oh, it. It's it so funny. He keeps having weird bugs. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing out the fucking literal big gun. I have another black hole then. No shields. Oh, Jesus. This is probably the most utilitarian of the heavy weapons, because it has a ton of missiles, and they do more damage than the grenade launcher, and you're dying, because fuck you. <laughs> um. Sketchy, but I'm actually happy with the sketch. Like that. Contact. I'm, so, I'm excited for later when we get. Oh, that's an Atari. Yeah, a sorry, Commando. Um. Sorry, Commando. Yeah. Right up, right up. Uh, later we can get a shotgun for this class, and it's a Krogan shotgun. <laughs> what are you, Vanguard? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's Vanguard too right it's now. too much fun to just charge around being an idiot. God, Vanguard's the best class that I wish was in other this games. This should come in handy. It's really good. <laughs> I'll take care of this myself. I'll take care of this myself. Stupid accent sucks. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs>
You've absorbed every accent from every place. It stole all the accents! Perfect God, the bullet time after a charge is like the best decision I ever fucking made. I was gonna say, it is opening a lot of opportunities to do some serious damage. Still? I think so. So is this dude just chilling in his fucking lobby yelling at us through his intercom? Yeah, like what the hell? So this is certainly a part. Mm -hmm. Look left. This seems like a lot of overkill. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And unfortunately, this is the downside of playing a Vanguard, because when you get to bosses like this, you can't really do anything. Are, like, flying bosses very common? Uh, there's a lot of bosses that you just can't physically reach. Ooh. Um, which sucks. Don't like that. Lay down your weapons! I think they should have the difficulty to give you some rocket launchers or something. I mean, I have ammo for it still. I just. I'm pretty sure he gets a shield back if you. Like, it's a phase fight or something. Mm. Okay, Kasumi. Kasumi still hasn't recharged. Damn it! Is this one of those fights where there's like a generator that I need to break? I feel like it is. It might be, because that came back like instantaneously with this unfortunate. Okay, I need to switch to shotgun, because I'm gonna do this. Can't reach the target. I think he's hiding it though. Get me up. Power cells, heavy weapon ammo. On our left. Gunship back and with full shield. If I can get to. What did you tell your friend, Kasumi? Oh, she said something. Yeah, this guy interrupted. I don't want to hear your stupid accent. Okay, okay. Seems like a lot of unnecessary antagonism. Why can't we just live in that food? Shields. Oh, oh, I guess she's up there. I was gonna say, hey, on earth are you supposed to keep track of her anyway? <laughs> okay, you should pop up. And then I think what you have to do is you have to tell Kasumi to sneak attack him. Yeah. I can get to the ship, I can take it. 
There we go. Okay. I figured out the trick to the boss fight. Again. What? She just ran all the way in the other direction. Yeah, three point landing. Tear that thing apart. <laughs> Up ahead. Yeah, she gets to do the QT instead of us, which I don't want to do it. She can do it. Wait, why? Did it deflect my missile? <laughs> What the fuck happened with my I missiles? Hey, I don't know if it even reached it. It's like acting like it didn't even touch it. There it goes. Damn it. Damn it. That is super weird. Oh. Dead. Oh. Well. You can see you steal yourself out of this one. Here. Our low poly That's ride is here. Oh, no more space buggy. No. Space buggy is the funnest part. Looks like a space inhaler. Kasumi, <laughs> Kasumi, Kasumi, you're streaming your own porn. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. <laughs> Destroy the gray box. <laughs> to you keep it just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences yeah i am i'll stay off the grid no one will know i exist i think or I you can come join me and my merry band no she does you're good she's a she's a permanent party member now so the way she said like oh i'll stay off the grid no one will know i exist so i was like not when you're with me! Our, like, weird group. One thing I like about Mass Effect 3 I'm is that they, they disconnect weapons from classes. So, in Mass Effect 3, you just have, like, a weight system. Um, oh, that's handy. And you don't even have to, like... Oh, Basically, it's a bouncing act between, like, do you want to be able to use your powers more often, or do you want to be able to use more guns? So, 
Commander, you've received a new You're also, wearing the dress. We get to keep the formal wear as casual wear. Oh, it's so fancy though. Jack's tattoos are beautiful, as colorful as her past. I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper. Uh, what? What? what do you, mean? you have worries. Oh, whoops! I hit the wrong thing on my stream. What? Attitudes. Oh. I don't know how that happened. I'm sorry. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Did someone join the chat? Oh. Hello? Ah! Oh! It's Maddie. Is there anything I should know? You have unread Hello. messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Discord's required. That'll be all. Okay. I don't know. I'll be here if you need anything. Right. I don't know if this gives us a chance to talk to people again. Let me talk to Morton and see. Shepard, how can I help? Or is there anything talk? else you want to like not stick now. your foot in your mouth about? Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus, unless it's very intelligent and toying with me. Hmm. Tests. That's impossible. Anything else? I don't have to. I'll let you work. We'll be here <laughs> if you need me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> we almost had a Fallout New Vegas situation <laughs> again. <laughs> Why does it keep happening? I don't know. Why is it when I stream games they break? Um, Kasumi's kind of like Zaid. Um, you don't like directly talk to her. You kind of click on her and she says dialogue. Um, but we can go see her room. It's a lot fancier than fucking Zaid's, that's for sure. I was gonna say she seems like a lady with some class and taste. I believe she gets the port. Yes. Hi, Kasumi. I don't know what that is streaming in there, but it seems exciting. It's raid. I was gonna say, do we have like an arcade machine and next to the bar? <laughs> it's pinball. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are we mixing or something? Yep. Yeah. Carmel dance and pop. <laughs> Carmel dance and pop. Take whatever was laid yeah. out for me and just drink it. Someone please mod the game to have that machine like muffled playing Carmel dance in the background. <laughs> can you mix yeah, the two together? With... Yeah, in our stomach we can. <laughs> okay, Kasumi, I'm ready to talk. People are talking out there. I really appreciate your help with the Hawkeyes. I've been going through Keiji's gray box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. I usually try to keep away in cargo bays. <laughs> it's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Not anymore, you all. Yeah, not... look at Shepard's shoulders. <laughs> Whoa. Your, your window might just be genius. <laughs> Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. They think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay, you get your window back. <laughs> Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the She seems like a very nice lady. How did she get into be becoming sad. a super hacker? Um, she watched Hackers, and she was like, hacking the planet's not enough. I have to hack the whole galaxy. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's right to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. You drive it? on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big uh, really good autopilot was going on tour. Very high security. KG dared oh, Tom, me to take this. me home. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless that's like suit. A they never bust knew the of play doh or something. My what is that? Job. Nowhere it's near like one of those fancy uh, uh, the red road bus things that you make out of layers. Like the they take a it's like a jigsaw puzzle, but it's like I a single red rose. It wasn't mm. until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. 
He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I don't know. I think really leaving a red rose, whatever you steal shit, is kind of cool, and you should keep doing it. It's very, like, classical. Not the news. Red roses are being extinct. <laughs> um... Justin, little prince is devastated by a loss of girlfriend Rose. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch over to control now. Ugh. Which means I have to turn off as much as humanly possible because, holy shit, control is going to eat up my CPU. Not a match. Uh... Okay. Uh, it's about as ready as it's going to be. Let me just uh, switch that we're playing control on stream. I might be able to stay up for a little bit, but yeah, you haven't missed too much from control. I've only done like the first hour of the game. I honestly, I don't know where I. Uh, hmm. I've watched, I think, one or several people play different parts of control. Yeah, if you've seen the first hour, that's literally all I've done. The only tricky part about it is, is I don't know where the first hour may have ended. Uh, uh, if oh. only because I know the one person I was uh, watching was like kind of slow. Hang on a sec. I just realized that. Right. My... Okay. Hang on. Uh... <laughs> where is the? Wow! I can't stream this on Discord. What? Seriously? Yeah, it's not giving me the ability to. Brutal. Sorry. It's that CPU intensive. Yeah. Ah! I keep forgetting there's no, like, reload button in this game. Like, ammo just comes back naturally. <laughs> okay. What the hell was I, I doing? I was going to say it's the trailer weapon. I what need... the hell is what? Forget what I was doing. Oh. Uh, proceed to... through the communications department. Oh, okay. So you need to talk to the board. Okay. Ah. I know where you're at. Oh, the dead letters department. Okay. Might have to turn down the settings a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. It is hitching a little it... bit. Oh my god. Was it worth Turn it? Turn off the DSLXX. Turn off the what? Turn off the ray tracing. Oh, the ray tracing's off by default because I don't have ray tracing. Um, I don't even remember what B Sync does. I haven't been able to play anything with B Sync on in so long. It's, uh, it's mostly just to make sure your screen doesn't, like, do freaky frames when it's going so fast <clears throat> but most games are pretty much just they mo mostly just th um, throttle themselves to a certain frame rate so that doesn't happen anymore yeah so mm. I mean you don't really have to worry about that anymore okay it's probably gonna have like texture loading now but did it turn the motion blur back on her film grain hmm? uh. oh you turned on motion blur, you shit game. I guess that really soft blur. Alright, apparently we're going to the mail room. Oh, it blew up like three seconds after I shot it. Listening to America overnight. Uh, the uh, what are the SCPs called in this? 
Oh, 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 peas. Oh, 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 yeah. That OOP was uh, the delayed exploding computer. You turn around and probably reverse something. So. Why is, can you destroy the deaths and everything? What? For, like, this game has some of the greatest destruction I've ever seen. This is why it fucking is eating up your CPU. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, what is this? Running on Frostbite? That's impossible. No, it's running on a Kojima engine or whatever. Oh, yeah, the Fox engine. Yeah. Can I go in here yet? There we go. Nobody do anything really evil. have to pick OOP out of everything. Now I have to confu now, not confuse it with object-oriented programming. Uh -huh. I hear <laughs> Oxy's I, I uh, radio. Ooh. Can I walk in this? Uh, nope, it hurts. I wonder if they, uh, I wonder if they, they went through their trouble of making a physics engine that lets you do all this kind of stuff. Oh, I don't think the mind boo place seems like a bad place to go. I don't even remember. I don't even that know what stuff. I'm doing. Ah! Gone in the smoke effects. They're so high quality, even on medium. Wait, what happened to my controls? There we go. Ow. I got fucked. Ooh. I'm not used to this game yet, in case you can't tell. I know for some enemies, they want you to, like, throw stuff at them before shooting them. Yeah, it helps. Which I think I was supposed to do there, but I didn't. Um, anyway... Do I have to go pick up that guy's thingamajig now again, or... Are we good? Oh, we can enter here now. Okay, cool. Smokes are fluid simulations. No wonder this is even... <laughs> yeah. All I know is that my laptop would probably just die. Your laptop would <laughs> die. Yeah. You'd probably have to do some weird hacks or stuff like turning everything into a little thing. I was going to say. See where they are. Do that to Red Dead Redemption 2. Ow. And it looks really silly. I have to play this on like PS1 mode. Be down with that. That look cool. It would be an interesting thing if for like lower like if a game offered an option to play at like extremely low poly, but I wonder if that mm -hmm. would just bloat like the game's like file size. Probably. Yeah. Because it's either that or you, you can just you know, lower the quality of all the textures to the point that everyone just looks like they're talking to, like ceramic crap. To the point where you look like Cyberpunk 2077. Oh! Right. Oh! Okay. Oh! Taking bets on twenty five. I was gonna say, did they even release this on PS5 yet? Yeah. I mean I would have had imagine. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
that place. Where are all the memes that are like, can this run control? Yeah, where were all the like, can it run control memes? Ow! I don't know, I feel like control kind of, sort of flew under the radar, but not exactly. Mm. If you run this game in 1080p with DLSS set to performance mode, it runs the game at sub SD resolution, like below 480p. Oof. Mossy is fucking. Mossy's kicking my ass. Is there like another like object of power you're supposed to be able to get from I I forget how the order goes because most of what I remember from control of uh, what I've seen of it has been like the um, terrifying kids puppet show shit. Oh, threshold kids. I found one of the videos yet last time. That shit freaks me out. It's like that and then like the hotel, which I think we're getting to. Ow! Oh, that one's fine. How very handy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm supposed to be fighting him right now, either. Ow! Auto balancing means if you got through the easy Oh, that, you got you got a huge chunk on that one. Weird auto balancing Ooh. means if you got through the early parts easily, he does obscure, scene amount of damage. Oh man. It probably doesn't help that he can probably pick up the explosive stuff in the room just as much as you can. He's also dodging my shit. Yeah. Which doesn't help. I did hit him that last time right before I died. Um. They can fly now. Great. I'm being a dodge and then chuck an explosive at him. Can you do that with like the gun? Uh, I don't think the gun. Ow! Half my health in one hit! Ooh. Chair! Ah! Some of them. I was gonna say, some of the throwing physics are also kind of working against you because it's so floaty that a lot of it is just like slamming into pillars. Got him, okay. Why can't the service weapon just be a hot gun? I think it eventually can change its own. It does what? I think eventually it can. It might be able to. I think it also can turn into a knife. Can it turn into a knife? Or it was a knife. Um, it can, well, in the lore, I know it's whatever you want it to be, or whatever you, it suits, well, basically whatever suits your idea of, like, justice or authority. Ow. So, like, Why if you're- Why can't my authority be the black hole gun from Mass Effect? Yeah. So if you're, well, I mean, if that was your symbol of authority, it would turn into that. My symbol of authority is the Mega Buster. Badge of officer, yeah. I do really like the objects of power in this game. Like, just they're also fun. Like the, uh, I was gonna say you already got the the floppy disk, right? Yeah, that's why I'm able to throw shit. Yeah. 
Um, I'm trying to, I don't want to necessarily spoil one since I know there's one that I, I really like, but I don't know if you've got it yet. I think it lets you do it first. I have not done any objects of power besides the floppy disk. Yeah, the floppy. Oh, come on! Some of that them was. Are, like, you kind of find them by accident. Blah. Am I just like under upgraded or something? Black hole gun from Quake 4. Yeah, see, a black hole gun would be a very big expression of authority and would also make this fight a lot less a pain in the butt. I can't upgrade. I know there are upgrades in this game, but I can't upgrade. What the heck was it? I, I was gonna say, I was watching somebody play it. I, it might have been Jesse Fox, because like, occasionally I try to watch this stuff, but I get It's irritated. a time thing. Like, you don't get upgrades right away. Smacked him in the face with a chair. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, you got him good. Oh, no, I think there was like literally a segment where you oh. kept turning on and off like the sub quests you could get that give you bonuses. And you kept doing the wrong things. I might have been watching somebody else who was just really bad at the game because he kept on like turning on like shoot 10 enemies with your fucking gun and he would just throw shit at them to death. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and then he would switch to the one where I throw things ten times and he just used his service weapon and I'm like, I'm literally going to scream. This is like the biggest pet peeve of my life. I should be able to throw shit. I should be able to throw his own shit back at him. Yeah, that would be catch it and then you double the momentum at him. Or no, no, you don't catch it, you like just loop it. Swing it around yourself. Yeah. You can damage them down to low health and then finish them with the quest weapon too. Is the quest weapon? Ah! I think when, when I think they're referring to like those little side quest stuff, like oh, ten enemies yeah. with a gun and whatnot. Oh yeah, there's like challenges and stuff. I've watched like three hours of Void Burger stream of this game, and that's about it. Part of me is like, I probably would trust Wayne Burger to not <laughs> play like they're, I don't know, blindfolded, but also just like actively not trying to play it right. <laughs> yeah. I trust with playing the game competently, you'll probably be I was gonna say, I probably just need to expand my pool of, like, people I watch Let's Play with. Like me! <laughs> and Super Great Friends. I was gonna say, Super Great Friend plays a lot of, like, interesting stuff. I guess to put it one way. <laughs> I do really feel bad about him playing, like, all of Lifeline, because I- I've actually- Oh my like, god, he was know, so he was mad! When we had all the- the, um, hardware to actually play Lifeline in college. I think it was, like, um, what's-his-face. Like, he was able to get the headset and, like, the yeah. camera and we tried to play it for, like, two hours, and by the end of it, we were, like, screaming ourselves hoarse because we were so sick of trying to make the game work. Ugh. It was so painful. Maybe I'll just come back here later. I've only seen like a quarter of that playthrough. And I can, you know, even then he was already getting a little agitated. Oh, by the end he's so mad. Oh. I've never seen SGF more mad than the Lifeline LP. <laughs> Objects of power. Cool I'll just, powers, I'll, you know, I'll just, I'll just come back later. It's fine. I'm clearly oh, not ready for this fight. Uh, I wonder, did they release an arc book for control yet, or maybe? I don't know. I would hope so. Gonna have to go through this hard boss for some reason. Why? Why did they make it a hard boss? 
I don't know. This is so early yeah, on. Like, this is, like, literally, what, the third big This is your Capra Demon. Yeah, it literally is the Capra Demon. It's the first fucking boss I've had to fight so far. Oh, yeah, we got some texture loading going on here. This is exactly the same at this point. Oh, whoa, what the hell happened to the texture pop? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, late. The bus was late. <laughs> I'm just seeing what's destructible at this point. Oh, it's just obliterated that poster. Yeah, I can't stand these fucking shitty textures. I can't. Uh, we don't need... Oh, hi. Um... Foliage can be low. We don't need good foliage. Is there, like, volumetric anything in there? Probably turn that off and save some frames. Mm. We'll see how it plays for now. I think I have to go through them. I don't think I can get around this. Yeah, because this is where I, Yeah, I have to go through them. I don't have anywhere else to go. Uh-oh. Oh, so high. That's shitty, but... Binary domain with voice controls in the game. Heard every single thing he said. Wow, that's annoying. What is binary domain? I don't know exactly. Uh, that's a third-person shooter. I, oh. I, I get those mixed up with Vanquish, so I think the gimmick binary domain was. I don't know. I tried <laughs> playing it. It doesn't. It doesn't put me too well into my controller or something. I ran into some sort of like, issue. I have it. I think. Come on, I can do it again. But some people swear by it, so that's why I picked it up. He's getting closer? No, he's just kind of fucking around. You're doing some real damage to him, though. Yeah, because I just pop out and I throw shit at him. Yeah, that's how you do it. There you go. <laughs> just don't get cocky now. Don't get lost. Don't get lost. Oh, yeah, you only need to take him down to, like, basically his last, like, sixth or whatever Let's health, and then he fucks off. The hotline and he went up into that weird buckle. And Why you'll never see that? him again. Curve high. Okay. My games are about fighting robots. That's why I get them confused really easily. All right, take this down. The they both have gruff men and been evaluated by the relevant authorities. More the mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear. Most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, it would be awesome to alter that and just show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Altered item. Oh, wait. An altered item is an always an object of power, right? Yes. Oh, God, game. Game, are you okay? Game. Game, please. <laughs> the box was uh -oh. too powerful. The box was too powerful. You Game. You the bloom out. <laughs> I opened Pandora's box. It turns out what's in, it, tur it turns out what's inside is a crashed CPU or something. I don't know. 
Oh, it's, good it's lord. It's all the volumetric lighting <laughs> in that one box. Oh my god. Control, please. I'm, I've am i lost control of control. I lost control of control. It crashed. Rip. I hope it's saved. I hope so, too. I mean, if the mission changes objectives, like, it has, like, an autosave function, doesn't it? Yeah. I hope. Yeah. I mean, I'd hope. I mean, imagine so. It's a modern game. I haven't had any to do with it. It's a modern game with some, like, crazy technical shit going on. Like, they have to assume, like, people's computers crash occasionally. I hope my stream can actually... Your game. Stream, please pick it up. The game's running. <laughs> Hang on a sec. We're having technical difficulties. Obi's ass is like, nope, I ain't hooking into that no more. I think it literally did that. It's not, like, reacting at all. Hang on a sec, everybody. Control has gone completely off the grid. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. I'm rogue. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> what are you what are you guys up to? I assume you're doing other stuff. Who me? No. Neo. <laughs> Neo? Neo too. Oh. Neo. Oh. I thought you were talking about the Matrix for some reason. Yeah, uh, yeah, I figured that might, that might be. I thought you fun. said meal like you're eating. Oh no, I did finish eating, and now I'm playing Neo too. And I'm so, huh? It saved you beating the boss, but it checkpointed you back before the roof. Yeah. It's a little weird. Uh, it saved the stuff I picked up. Oh, it saved the box I opened, so I don't have to open it again. Risk crashing my computer again. The hotline can't be far now. The ultimate object of power. Yeah. That'd be I had funny. A PSO I deal. mean, that'd be, that'd be both funny and cruel as if there was an object of power that would just fuck up your game. Well, you have to close it. <laughs> oh oh boy. Like Here we go. Another box. Oh, I'm not going to look at it this time. Yeah. There's like a, a logic loop you can do in Baba is You that basically destroys the game. <laughs> Baba is Baba. Baba is it's something about making the level like lava walls. Oh no. <laughs> lava is Baba. Level is level and level is also lava brick. <laughs> A corrupted save file in control would make me want to quit. There's some parts of this that are just probably a little too aggravating. Oh, you gotta... yeah. Door marked with a black pyramid. Whoa. Have we been here before? Sam Lake is I haven't. I don't know. No. Hit a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. Right. This feels like Two, three. all of them, like something recognized from a dream. It's a very really homey motel. Oh man. I remember seeing one of these when I was growing up. What's that? I think it's like a cigarette dispenser. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I only I saw like one. Ever. I don't know what this is. Hello? Anyone here? That's a really old vending machine. Hey. I like to check in. Part of black pyramid. Oh, you're at that part. Yeah. That bit's cool. I love 
of this hotel. <laughs> I'd stay here. The Notel Motel. It doesn't like even seem really sinister. It just seems like a nice place to kind of hang out. I'm gonna keep pulling this. Okay. <laughs> uh, what resolution are we? I'm running it in 1080p. What, should not do what? Did I miss something? Uh... Contact extranational entities. How does it work? Oh, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yeah, go through, go right up to the pulsating thing. I don't know. It could have been friendly. Extra dimensional entities. Wait, can you see? Oh. I was about to ask, do you go to the hotline more than once, but... We're going to... That's probably a spoiler. It's the sequel to Hotline Miami, Hotline Other World. <laughs> I mean, at least the board seems a lot more on the level than the people that are calling you in Hotline Miami. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. Now, I've seen this episode of Night Springs already. <laughs> a director needs a team. Oh, it's the oh. Powerpuff Girls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These people know the secrets of the bureau. It really is, Not though. I do. Some even better. Darling, if you're carrying around the hotline, Salvador, potentially, does Marshall, it just turn into a cell phone? Marshall especially. No, because the oldest house only understands things in terms of like through me. late se uh, the, like, like anywhere between like late sixties, late seventies. The only person you should fail is yourself. Anything, anything uh, uh, newer than that, newer anything newer house. than that, it doesn't understand. Damn millennials and their cell phones. Yeah, the boomer house. Man, this thing doesn't even have call them back. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important. Oh yeah, it's no longer in there. I need to get back so to So you him. can just you do just have it in your whatchamacallit. No, you just summon it up. People and react will somehow strongly when I tell them about you. Just carrying around a disconnected telephone. <laughs> she might be able to help. I can't get over that. That's so good. Yeah, like at least a flip phone would probably be like the oldest house could understand a flip phone. What happened to the body? They still had that, had that sponsorship. They could have had a Sprint phone in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what? I forgot what kind of cell phone Alan Wake had in the um, the contest. Sure. Call of the Dio. There we go. I want to. I want to say it was like like a weird BlackBerry phone. He had one of, in one of the DLCs. Yeah, actually, the oldest house does kind of run off-brand stuff. It's like the Dollar General, but, like, filled with 
weird objects that do crazy things. Oh no, your toilet's right next to your sink? That's awful. Once upon a time, mean... there was this house. I mean, there's, there was this Dollar General with spooky shit in it. <laughs> I mean, when I go into Dollar General, I find some spooky shit. The oldest Dollar General. With the oldest gummies. I feel like I've walked into like one of those like bargain price stores or whatever and I found like shit that expired like two years ago. I'd believe that. Oh, uh, when I worked at CVS I found gummies that expired like five years ago and that was unnerving. Sorry. You made it. Hi. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. Don't mind me. I got the hotline. I can make out what Chuck is saying. Oh, Incredible. actually. It, what did he say? It could, uh... He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Color by the Mask on Washington hotline. Tomasi, Call the right. red telephone. Oh. He's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. I was gonna say the hotline, if it were to be a cell phone, it had to be, it probably have to be one of those, like, really yeah, chunky Yeah, the really like, old, chunky ones. ones. She took her rangers and or a car to phone. To secure the HRA production. Yeah, oh, probably God. have to have, a, like, a extra bag to hold the battery in. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can. I do like this lady because she very obviously like Listen, loves her job, but no, also like, man, no training. what kind of like extreme? Situation. You just have to be extremely okay with well. very <laughs> weird <laughs> shit to be like in love, love with this job. <laughs> it's a living. It, it, I mean, that's kind of how we she is about it, though. Yeah, I like her. She's great. Test. And she's like, oh, you're the new? You're the know. head? Cool. All right, here you she go. Here's everything I know. And I know everything. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. I keep thinking think this well. game's going to give me a choice, and then Jesse just makes a choice. I'll check the internal documentation for any <laughs> lockdown bypasses. We Don't worry, you were going to pick this one. I already did boss. Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way Don't worry, I got you. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Oh, yeah, we have to find Darling, who... Mm -hmm. Dr. Darling. I think what, his last reported sighting, he was, like, running around naked or something? Oh, cool. Such a Darling. He was, like, giving everyone safety equipment and also being kind of unhinged, I think, was what I remember of it. Oh, boy. I hope we don't have to see political... This guy. I like this guy. Hati? Yeah. Yeah. He's cool. Welcome yeah. to the Department of Maintenance. It looks like a quake level. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised this game isn't more meta considering it's like context and like it's theming and stuff. Oh, we got ability points now. Ability points. Do you hear that? Someone's the best are ability points. They say the new direct like it's coming from an elevator. Ding ding. ding. I like to spend my ability points. Mm. Energy, melee damage, launch damage. Uh, I want health because I want to not die. Coward. Bullshit. Living I don't know how when you say benchmark your PC. The most difficult rent game I have installed. Oh, I thought you meant like a dedicated benchmarker. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, like, usually with a benchmark, it's either very, very good or very, very bad. And they also have very confusing names. 
obviously you never read them. Okay, kill enemies, headshots, serve stuff in spin spin mode. What the fuck is spin mode? <laughs> One of two things are either gonna happen: either the object you grab is spinning, or you spin. Well, the gun has has like a spin Here's mode, the... I guess. Oh, Probably you like can a spin the gun. Mode. You can just it like like takes a bit to like spool up. God, the map is such a fucking mess. I love it. It's functionally useless, and it's great. I hear Ati. Oh. Yeah, they mentioned there was somebody singing. Above? Is he above? I think he's above. I think I have to... I feel to... like I just walking around like, eh, it's a web. Might get crushed tomorrow by an object of power, but at least they're paying me now. Yeah, boy. How do I get out of here? I want to see my family. I was gonna, I was like, honestly, I'd be kind of like chill to work at a place like this, because like, I'd have excuses not to see my family. <laughs> That's true. Mm, I feel that. This, if there was an object of power that just gives me whatever I want, I wouldn't mind working here. Ati, how do I go talk to you? You gotta go up the stairs. The mitochondria is the powerhouse uh, of the cell. Elevator? You might be near an elevator. Or up an elevator or down an elevator. Oh, we came from this direction. Shit. Okay. How do I spin the thing? How do I, I think it uh, is it a thing your gun can do? Yeah. You might not get you might not have that mode yet. Oh. Yeah, they give I think you the it's thing for it. Apparently a later weapon thing. Yeah, like sometimes they just give you a mission for a mode you don't even have for some reason. <laughs> Reminder. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these mm. simple steps. One, That's because you don't have spin yet. Item or of power. Two, get the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach the supervisor. I hate what it did to the, to the <laughs> industry. It ruined my pirate radio career. Um, service open equivalent to the guns. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so let's head back this way. Shatter. Oh, yeah. The service weapon options are all like uh, verbs, I guess? Wait, did I go around again? Hmm. Director's office. This leads back to the tunnel. This is the mail room communications, thematics, dead letters. Hmm. I'll try going back to the cafeteria. Central executive? Dead letters. Okay, I'm not gonna look at the box. <laughs> what, you don't want to look at the cursed box? The boxes that crashed my fucking game? No, no thanks. <laughs> Dang it, they sealed up the door. For your protection. Oh wow, they coughed the hell out of that thing. That'll keep in the monsters, sir. Just a lot of caulking. 
It might keep out the sound some, I guess. Oh, Just shoot. slather oh. on through ten or so tubes. Big old ominous ass red hallway. <laughs> yeah, I tried going down before, they didn't like that. I don't want to notice that Jesse doesn't touch anything with her hands. She doesn't? I guess, I mean, I guess not, but like, does she really have to? I mean, she she's touched a couple of objects of power, but. I mean, she has to touch the gun. Why do I have the tables? It's just so satisfying. It's like bubble wrap, you know? This is literally my fetish. She does it, huh? Check her back here again. Oh, she doesn't open boxes or doors with her hands. That's true. She like kind of pushes everything away. Doors open automatically, from what I've seen. Me too. But the people around me. Wait, no. What? <laughs> I mean, admittedly, in this place, it would probably be wise to be careful what you do touch. Yeah. Considering that some of the things in here are like semi sentient, uh, angry floppy disks and such. I don't know if that. It might actually even be a metaphor, too, about how Jesse's kind of like been isolated. I wonder if that was intentional though. I really need to make that vlog about video game metaphors. Oh! What the hell? Two utensils, for example. I mean, have you seen what a two utensil did in SpongeBob SquarePants? That's just dangerous. <laughs> I honestly, I've, I've been sitting on like a blog idea of like uh, I even have a name for it. Mirrors are the metaphor. Oh, that's such and... a good fucking name. It was uh, strictly originally going to be about like horror games and their relationships with mirrors in them and whether or not seeing your reflection could be considered a metaphor for what's happening in the game. But mirrors. you could also extend that to other potential metaphors. Man, speaking of mirrors and Sam Lake games, uh, I just remember that one line from fucking Max Payne where the flamingo from the fake television show says like mirrors are more fun than television. I remember from Max Payne as far as TVs goes, my lord, my lady. <laughs> okay, where? Uh, Dead flesh. I, I think there was. Oh, what the hell? Somebody mentioned something about, like, how you have never seen your own face in person, you've only ever seen reflections of it. Yeah. Which, that's, that's that deep. Is an uncomfy thought. <laughs> Wait. Mirrors are more fun than television sounds very David Lynch. It To be yeah. fair, the show that airs in Max Payne is basically Twin Peaks. I think it's called like Address Unknown or something. You should be able to find it on YouTube. Oh god. Apparently, um, the same block Twin Peaks used to air in in Japan was also preoccupied uh, with, um, freaking Paranoia Agent. Which, that's, that's a hell of a hour block there. 
Well, it'll be more like an hour and a half because Twin Peaks is like 45 minutes with like 15 minute commercials. Yeah. It's been a while since I've started watching. No, nope. okay, still can't go down the screaming hallway. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend going down the screaming hallway. I mean, it's screaming at you for a reason. Do I just go to the hotline chamber? No, because the hotline chamber just got me the phone. I was going to say, you already got the phone way into the maintenance sector. You need to find... Do you need to go down a floor, I think? Do you need to go to pneumatics? Still, Apparently Link's something. Awakening was inspired by Twin Peaks. I don't know how much truth there is to so that, but Central I... Executive. You need to go to that yellow diamond. Oh, well, I'm dumb. We were there, so... <laughs> Got door sealed. Man, the old house needs to clean this place up. It should hire itself some keepers, you know. Yeah, make it do it all Fantasia style. I mean, honestly, if I saw a broom just sweeping by itself, I'd be very compelled to leave it the fuck alone. No, no box. Although they do have a liminal space janitor. Okay. The point is, like. Both want us to get a field lab set up as soon as possible. With what? We can't get any equipment from the research sector. Ati is just one man. Uh, I mean, technically, we are also his protege. Protege. I'm gonna vocalize this. Hive says that maybe dropping the resolution might help. Um, you would have to probably kill the stream and re go and re and re do everything in. Uh, OPS. I don't think I can because it's running in borderless. Yeah. Yeah, because then it. Yeah. You'd have to swap it to window and then drop the resolution. Like, I can drop the render resolution. I don't know if that's going to change anything. <laughs> it's going to make things look a little funky. <laughs> and by that I mean uh, Jesse's going to turn into Funky Cone. Yeah. <laughs> now we're funky mode. She has no style, she has no grace. This guy Whoa. has a funny. Whoa, hey. Is there a reason why the jukebox is on the other side of the door? Well, obviously, you can't just have the jukebox by itself not, not locked up. It'll make you dance to its tune until you die. Mm. Lots of fairy tales about dancing to your death, which actually might be partially inspired by the dancing plague. New director? Ah, oh, yeah, that's me. Do they use the right switch? Jukebox is extremely dangerous here for more explained reasons. I, honestly, I can believe a jukebox is just dangerous in general. If one of those things fell on you, your life would be fucking over. Ooh. Wait, what did that do? I don't know, I touched it. Shushu ballroom what now? What, what? You have a lot of reading materials, and I'm not sure what they say. Me either. Ossie, are you in here? Ain't he... I feel like he's There's at a door the on the ground floor. Here. for a copy of this one. No. 
I need to like ask. Twitch. I need to ask Twitch like, like, if like just playing a copyright song is gonna get me like super banned or something. I get the FDA, from what I understand. So it's all past the security. Was that guy floating? Uh, so there are people who no. float. Oh, you mean, yeah, but, like, in this area, everyone seems pretty okay yeah. with not floating. I, I think my eyes were just tricking me. Try to strike a balance between letting you know where to go and not hand-holding it. Oh, perfect. I found it by accident. Hey. Oh, there's his little cart. Like they said before, the janitor is a friendly face. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I remember there being elevators, but I also remember the elevators move around. Because a lot of them are highly dependent on Ati asking you to do a thing. Yeah. I just gotta walk, man. The pony walk, man, though. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, maybe he can help me reach the override. I mean, don't worry maybe about it. I'm just listening to my mixtape. house with the lockdown on it. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? <coughs> Good Lord. <clears throat> Fucking like light notes of rainbow light, like that shit's wild. The amount of stuff this game has to render is like, absolutely bizarre. Okay. Grab this. Ooh. I have a rose of nothing. Hot dang. The first trailer for Judas and the Black Messiah is good. I don't know what that is. Is that a movie? I assume it's a movie. Oh, that's really good. Dear. Noxious hiss energy going on in there. I will be back in a few minutes. Okay. Ah, okay. oh, there he is. pistol. Such a Fred Hansen, the Black Panther Party, as assisted by a mole coerced into helping the FBI. 
Huh. I think you're here. I'll take that way. I was gonna say, I've known that the FBI have, like, basically, or what undermined Black Panther, like, mm -hmm. good lord, pretty much since the beginning. Well I'm well kind of surprised that somebody's making a movie on it, because you would think that the FBI would probably try to, like, block them somehow. It happened in the last drop. Might want to check out the what's down that way passage. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah. I don't know. Close Ati, up to her look, face. Yeah. I was going to say the, the textures right now. The textures are not loading. Can you help me get to the I over? feel like Shepard after yes, taking a couple yes. shots. Easy, easy. <laughs> That's why you don't drink what's on the table. But first, I saw it was orange and I just drank it. Very small couple of hours. Chop. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, uh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. You would think there's a doctorate in this. I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Apparently some uh, of these things are like actually legitimate. This house has a vermin <laughs> problem. A bad one. But I can't remember what and the power generators like what language they're originally like Sourced and, and inside. I forget what his. He started to feel the band around his head tight. Ah, Situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a part in Sahara. Trying my best. Finish. He's finished. <laughs> fixed. It's finished. Okay. And the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Don't you worry. We're talking. I've when are you, you finished? Instructions. <laughs> you catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later when you have time. Vacation? Great. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. But don't worry. Oh, yeah, no, I totally believe that Ati yeah. is more than a finished. <laughs> No Just like a finished janitor, man. You go now, so you don't have to run I, your head as your third leg. I find it weird that the she's not responding back. to the fact that he's reading her mind. The door in the back. I mean, that's great. She seems to deal Thank with you. a lot of things reading her mind as of late. Yep. Burn the dress. I mean, at least Ati seems pretty nice. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Okay. Yep, burn it into a reindeer, not a moose. Okay. Oh dear God! Oh. Unfortunately, it's gotten quite late, so I'm probably gonna actually have to duck out here. Okay. Oh. Intense red. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Oof. Climb up. An object of power. Uh, How do you think it got down here? Good night, everybody. See ya. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Touch the horse. Touch. 
V to evade. Oh. Oh, I fucked up. This light is blinding me. Is it another threshold? Yes, it is. I love those. <laughs> so love tech. Uh, oh, is that okay? Yep. I'm gonna get lost in all that white. It's a really odd phrase.
Okay. I don't know if that is what I'm supposed to do, but... Where am I going? I'm confusing myself. Okay, we want to get over there. So I think I have to go this way. I can see why this game gave me a map, because it's very hard to navigate. Bye, Alti. Bye, Alti. Here we go. Found it. Okay. Get used to it, which is thematically works really well. That makes sense. This is definitely the kind of setting where it's like, you're never going to know exactly where you're going, but you're going to get where you need to. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Hang on, you're the director. Uh, it's a pleasure. Ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden. Ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten well, into our buddies has wrecked the coolant pumps and the power Plane converters. control. Oh. The NSC keeps overheating. Oh. My crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make it. Oh, I just noticed that, uh, the, uh big rumbling metal thing. these space is like uh, so lagging a little bit. He asked me to protect it in case of an attack. <laughs> so what's inside is dangerous. Uh. Dr. Garland seemed to know it would be a target. Garland? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Garland knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? That's catchy. Listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Okay, let me see something real quick. Oh boy, 720p. Yeah. Blockages and pipes. Now we're talking. Get the clock back. Now. Looks like we're playing on Xbox 360 again. Yeah. It's like I'm playing Alan Wake <laughs> on the 360. God, look <laughs> at that fucking dithering. Ugh. Hang on. I'm just gonna set it. We're gonna set it back to 1920, but. We're gonna put just low and see what happens. Stop turning on blur. You want to turn on blur, right? Even on low. Let's 
dojo. No, I don't need that. Um, actually, I should do the dojo real quick. What's your read on all this? Sky and Lightning Apartments. What the fuck is that? Well, I'll probably have to set the game like this if I want to continue playing it, because at least the textures are fucking loading on the... Um. So does the game run okay for streaming? It runs okay. I'm probably actually, now that I've hit this point, I'm probably actually going to end the stream here. Because um, I do have to get up early tomorrow morning for work, so... Um, but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, gonna try and get through my outro real quick, because it's fucking long, and I need to find a way to shorten it. You should just put it on a piece of paper, and then just read it off. Yeah. Or just yeah. have me read it off, and whenever I'm Yeah. Here. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for coming by, everybody. If you want to support me without paying money, you can follow me, you can share my streams, um, also, like, follow me on Twitter and share my tweets and stuff. That helps. Uh, if you, you know, if money, if money donations is not an option for you, the the best thing you can do for me is just you know, get me out there on the internet. Um, I need more eyes. Yeah, basically. Um, I'll take donations of exposure. Um, if you want to financially support me, there are tons of ways to do that. They're all linked below. Patreon, Ko-Fi, direct donations through Twitch, Bits, etc., etc., etc. There's commissions. Um, my pinned tweet on my Twitter has all the details about my commissions. If you have any questions, you can contact me through Twitter or Discord. I have the Discord name, number. It's there. You'll be able to find me. Um... The schedule's up now. I don't have to, like, say at the end of my stream when I'm going to schedule next. The schedule's up. I just put it on my Twitter. Um, but if you don't know, I'll be streaming on Wednesday again. Um, that's going to be same time, 7.30 p.m. EST. Uh, I think that's basically everything. Yeah. Uh, so once again, thanks for coming by, everybody. Have a nice night. Bye-bye.